Now let's talk about child and descendant selectors. And in order to do that, we obviously need to make this case scenario, right? So here I'm going to say div with the class, and I'm going to say red here first, right? Then I'm going to create three paragraphs, and I'm going to add some dummy text, right? So lorem, and let's say we're going to copy and paste this, right? So we're going to say one, two over here like this. Then we have three of them, right? But over here, we're going to create a div, and we're going to give it a class. We're going to class of, let's say, blue over here like this, blue, right? And we're going to place a paragraph over here like this. And again, this is going to be dummy text, right? So now what we need to remember from HTML is that there's actually something called children and parent, right? So what's happening is you see this div with a class of red. Actually, it is a parent element to these three paragraphs and to this div, right? Not to this paragraph, right? This paragraph actually has its own parent. This is the class of blue, right? And there is a difference, right? When Once we're working on it, right? So let's say, what if I would want paragraphs, right? These three paragraphs, red, but not this paragraph, right? What would be the options, right? So let's save this one over here. Let's go to main CSS. And we can say something like, okay, no, well, we want the paragraph and the background color, right? And you're going to say to me, well, wait, 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 they're all going to be red. And that's true. So that's not going to work. Now, what we also could do, what we know right now, we can go and start applying classes, right? We can go here, class, here, class, right? And then we can, and we can do it this way. Now, however, there's a little bit faster way. If we know that there's a class of red, right, which is the div color, right? And now you can see that I'm selecting all of it. However, if I put an angle bracket and just write the element, the type element that I would want, right? Or it could be a class. I mean, it doesn't just, and the same over here, right? I'm just showing you with a class, but this could actually be a div and this could be actually a class, right? So they could be flipped. You can see only these ones are actually turning red. And the reason for it, that again, these are actually children, right, of class of red. However, these are, this, this is descendant, right? So they all are technically descendants, but only the first three are children. Let me show you what I mean, right? So this was actually, we know that this was a children selector, right? So uh, right over here, we're going to say this is child, right? And by the way, this is how we make a comments in the CSS, right? So we can, we start with a forward slash over here. Then we have star, star, and forward slash, right? And if we want, we can actually enclose the code right? So then it wouldn't be showing, right? So if I go over here, right? You can see that this rule is enclosed. And sometimes it's very useful to actually do it like this if you want to check something out, right? So let's say, again, this was a child selector, right? And now let's do the descendant. And how descendant would work? I would write red, and it would actually work the same way, right? We would say paragraph, and now all of them are targeted, because all of them are descendants of a red class of red of this div, right? All of them, but only the first three are children. So over here, I'm going to say background, color, and then let's say I'm going to say let's say blue, right? And again, all of them are turning blue because all of them are descendants. And it doesn't matter how deeply I make this, right? So let's say over here within this div, I'm just going to copy and paste this, copy, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste this, right? Still, it's still the same thing, right? Still, this div is descendant of this class of red. So I'm from targeting all of the paragraphs, right? However, if I go back over here, and let's say over here, we're going to place actually this one in a comment, right? So we're going to comment this one out. And i just grab this guy over here. Well, I kind of a little bit messed it up over here. Let's just do this one first, right? See what happens, right? So child selector, I need to delete this because it's not going to make sense to the CSS. But if I'm targeting only the children with this angle bracket, you see what happens? Only the first three. It doesn't matter how many more I create over here within the divs. It's not going to actually target them.